Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss some important questions and this is the continuation of the previous question paper. You can watch the previous videos from playlist and links are there in description box. Question number 46. As part of biomedical waste segregation, yellow colored non-chlorinated containers are used to collect Option A. Blood and body fluids Option B. Contaminated metallic sharps Option C. Contaminated recyclable plastic items Option D. General waste Which of these wastes are segregated in yellow colored container? The correct answer is Option A. Blood and body fluids Blood and body fluids are segregated in yellow colored non-chlorinated containers. Question number 47 a low fixed specific gravity of urine is an indication for Option A chronic diabetes mellitus Option B chronic diabetes insipidus Option C chronic renal failure Option D acute renal failure In which of these conditions urine have low fixed specific gravity? The correct answer is Option C chronic renal failure a low fixed specific gravity of urine is an indication of chronic renal failure. Question number 48. Fruity odor in urine is specifically indicate presence of Option A. Maple syrup urine disease Option B. Bacteria Option C. Ketone bodies Option D. Sugars Fruity odor indicates which of these conditions? The correct answer is option C, ketone bodies. Fruity odor in urine is specifically indicate presence of ketone bodies. Question number 49. Benstone's proteins are option A, albumin, option B, immunoglobulin, option C, microalbumin, option D, lipoprotein. Benstone's proteins are belonging to which of these categories? The correct answer is option B, immunoglobulin. Ben Jones proteins are immunoglobulin. Question number 50. Normally there is no presence of glucose in urine sample. What is the renal threshold for glucose? Option A, 70 to 110 mg percentage. Option B, 150 mg percentage. Option C, 120 to 150 mg percentage. And option D, 180 mg percentage. The question is that what is the renal threshold for glucose? The correct answer is option D 180 mg percentage. Normal renal threshold for glucose is 180 mg percentage. Question number 51. Hayes test is done in urine sample for the detection of option A sodium taurocholate, option B sodium gluconate, option C bilirubin and option D Bilisayani. Hayes test is done in urine sample for the detection of which of these parameters? The correct answer is option A, sodium taurocholate. Hayes test is the test for bile salt and sodium taurocholate is one of the bile salt. Question number 52. Which of the statement is correct about obstructive jaundice? Option A, urine Conjugated bilirubin is high and urobilinogen is decreased. Option B. Urine unconjugated bilirubin is high and urobilinogen is decreased. Option C. Urobilinogen is high giving a cherry red color. And option D. Urine is colorless. Which of the statement is correct about obstructive jaundice? The correct answer is option A. Urine conjugated bilirubin is high and urobilinogen is decreased in obstructive jaundice. Urine conjugated bilirubin is high and urobilinogen is decreased. Question number 53. Human chorionic gonadotropin that is HCG is the hormone that is released by placenta and it can be detected in which of these samples? Option A. Urine sample only. Option B. Urine and blood sample. Option C. Pluidal fluid. And option D. None of the above. HCG can be detected in which of these samples? The correct answer is urine and blood sample. HCG can be detected in both urine and blood sample.
Question number 54. Crush man spirals are seen in sputum of option A bronchial asthma, option B pneumonia, option C tuberculosis, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option A bronchial asthma. In bronchial asthma, crush man spirals can be seen in sputum. Question number 55. Which is the most preferred concentration method for parasites in fecal sample? Option A. Saturated sodium chloride method. Option B. Zinc sulfate flotation technique. Option C. Formal ether concentration technique. And option D. Simple centrifugation method. Which of these concentration method is suitable for parasites in fecal sample? The correct answer is option C, formal ether concentration technique. Formal ether concentration technique is the most preferred concentration method for detection of parasites in fecal sample. Question number 56. Which one of the following gives false negative results with benzidine test for occult blood? Option A, intake of large amount of aspirin. Option B, intake of red meat. Option C, intake of iron tablets. And option D, intake of large amounts of vitamin C. Which of these conditions will cause a false negative results with benzidine test? The correct answer is option D, intake of large amount of vitamin C. Intake of large amount of vitamin C will cause a false negative results with benzidine test for occult blood. Question number 57. Necrozoospermia is referred to which condition? Option A. Presence of no sperm in semen. Option B. Presence of a few sperm in semen. Option C. Presence of non-viable and non-motile sperm. And option D. Presence of headless sperm. Necrozoospermia is referred to which of these conditions? The correct answer is option C, presence of non-viable and non-motile sperm. That is dead and non-motile sperm. Question number 58. Spider web coagulum or cope web is usually seen in CSF in case of Option A, tuberculous meningitis. Option B, syphilis. Option C, pneumonia. And option D, all of the above. The correct answer is option A, tuberculous meningitis. Spider web coagulum or cope web appearance usually seen in CSF in case of tuberculous meningitis. Question number 59. New glassware is soaked in 1% HCl solution and washed thoroughly. This is done because option A to remove dirt in glassware, option B to remove stains in the glassware, Option C, to remove the mild alkalinity in the glassware. And option D, to make the gla glassware durable. What is the reason for soaking a new glassware in 1% hydrochloric solution? The correct answer is option C, to remove the mild alkalinity in the glassware. The mild alkalinity of new glassware should be removed by soaking in 1% hydrochloric acid. Question number 60. Diffraction grating is used in spectrophotometer 4. Option A. Reducing the light transmitted. Option B. Measurement of intensity of light transmitted. Option C. For providing narrower wavelength monochromatic light. And option D. For measuring the intensity of light absorbed. Why did we use diffraction grating in spectrophotometer? The correct answer is option C. For providing narrower wavelength monochromatic light. Diffraction grating is used in spectrophotometer for providing narrower wavelength of monochromatic light. Question number 61. For detection of elemental analysis we use. Which equipment is used for the elemental analysis? Option A. Flame photometer. Option B. Atomic absorption spectrophotometer. Option C, inductively coupled plasma. Option D, all of the above.
the correct answer is option d all of the above for the detection detection of elemental analysis we use flame photometer inductively coupled plasma and atomic adsorption photometer question number 62 glucose challenge test or gct is done in pregnant ladies at option a 8 to 12 weeks of gestation option b 24 to 28 weeks of gestation option c 12 to 24 weeks of gestation and option d first week of pregnancy gct is done at which period for a pregnant woman the correct answer is option b 24 to 28 weeks of gestation glucose challenge test is done in pregnant ladies at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation question number 63 fasting plasma glucose concentration exceeding dash milligram per dl in more than one occasion is diagnostic of diabetes mellitus option a 100 option b 110 option c 126 and option d 160 the correct answer is option c 126 if a patient with 126 mg per dl of fasting plasma glucose concentration more than one occasion is a diagnostic of diabetes mellitus Question number 64 ideal exogenous marker for GFR to assess kidney function option A inulin option B creatinine option C cystatin C and option D urea which is the ideal exogenous marker for GFR option A inulin is the correct answer ideal exogenous marker for GFR to assess kidney function is inulin Question number 65 which of the following is true for both kidney and liver disease option a urine albumin is decreased option b serum albumin is decreased option c serum creatinine is increased option d urine creatinine is increased which of the following clinical finding indicates both kidney and liver disease The correct answer is option B serum albumin is decreased if serum albumin is decreased it indicates kidney and liver disease Question number 66 test based on detoxification function of liver include option A brown sulfthalein test option B rose bengal dye test option C hippuric acid test and option D none of the above which of these test is based on detoxification function of liver the correct answer is option c hippuric acid test detoxification function of liver include hippuric acid test question number 67 in the colon by the action of enzyme systems of intestinal microorganisms two vinyl groups of bilirubin are reduced to ethyl groups to form dash option a biliverdin option b mesobilirubin option c stercobilinogen and option d mesobilirubinogen simply the question is vinyl group of bilirubin are reduced to ethyl groups to form what Op the correct answer is option b mesobilirubin two vinyl groups of bilirubin are reduced to ethyl groups to form mesobilirubin in colon question number 68 hypercholesterolemia is seen when serum cholesterol increases above option a 240 mg per deciliter option b 200 mg per deciliter option c 280 mg per deciliter and option d 180 mg per deciliter The correct answer is option A 240 mg per deciliter. 240 mg per deciliter of cholesterol indicates hypercholesterolemia. Question number 69. Serum amylase test is done for the diagnosis of option A myocardial infarction, option B pancreatitis, option C obstructive jaundice, option D both B and C. The correct answer is option B pancreatitis serum amylase test is done for the diagnosis of pancreatitis 
Question number 70. CA125 is a tumor marker for Option A. Ovarian Cancer Option B. Colorectal Cancer Option C. Pancreatic Carcinoma Option D. None of the above The correct answer is Option A. Ovarian Cancer CA125 is a tumor marker of ovarian cancer. Question number 71. Hypernatremia is seen in Option A. Chronic renal disease with acidosis Option B. Addison's disease Option C. Excessive water consumption Option D. Cushing's disease Hypernatremia is the condition of increased sodium concentration and the condition is seen in Cushing's disease. Hypernatremia is seen in Cushing's disease. Question number 72. Milk ejection hormone. Which is the milk ejection hormone? Option A. Prolactin. Option B. Vasopressin. Option C. Oxytocin. And option D. Estrogen. The correct answer is option C. Oxytocin. Oxytocin is the milk ejection hormone. Question number 73. Closeness of a result to the true value is refers to option A. Sensitivity. Option B. Bias. Option C. Precision. And option D. Accuracy. The correct answer is option D. Accuracy. Closeness of a result to the true value is refers to the term accuracy. Where sensitivity is the true positivity, bias is the error and precision is the reprodu reproducibility of the result. Question number 74. Number of test results produced per hour in an automated machine is known as option A. Dwell time. Option B, throughput. Option C, stat. Option D, intervention time. Number of test results produced per hour in an automated machine is known as which of the following terms? The correct answer is option B, throughput. Number of test results produced per hour in an automated machine is known as throughput. Question number 75. The person having no signs and symptoms of disease and can infect another person is called carrier. If a carrier acquires infection from another carrier, the person is called option A paradoxical carrier, option B contact carrier, option C temporary carrier and option D all of the above. If a carrier acquires infection from another carrier, the person is called what? The correct answer is option A, paradoxical carrier. If a carrier acquires infection from another carrier, the person is called as paradoxical carrier. Today we are winding up. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. And if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe and turn on notification. To get notified on time, thank you.